days, students are overwhelmed by the amount of choices they have for career path. Step 1 attempts to help these students by offering real-world experience in the Isang Meadow business community. In the Isang Meadow High School Career Center, Mark Macarini works with Step 1 to provide students with insight on 16 unique career clusters in which all occupations fit. Step 1 Media enables media production students to create a series of television programs that tells the story of this collaborative exploration. Like, smaller than ten. Um, cosmetics. All the cosmetics that we use. Okay. Smile dance. Pounds or pounds of meats and cheeses and stuff like that. Um, some cheeses we make in house, other, most of the cheeses we get imported. As I'm sitting here, my phone just vibrated, which tells me I just got another task to do. But, um, <laughs> From CMD. Yeah, they're the only people who vibrate during the day. <laughs> the way we can start, I want to thank you first for all being part of this project. I think it's going to be fun and you will uh, hopefully get some career experience out of it. Alright, I am here at Feast in the East at Twin Hills Country Club. It's an event of the Five Town Chamber of Commerce and I'm here with Holly Frameris. And you are a student at Eastall Middle High School? Yes, I'm also Miss Max intern, so I'm kind of here to help out with everything. Alright, so explain to me what uh, the students from the high school are doing today. Well, what we did is we made a cheesecake and we made a smoothie that one of our past students made. So we decided to feature that one because it really kind of reflects on our class and we just really want to show what our culinary arts program has been able to do to help the students and to help the community. But this is important to you guys when you're looking through the camera because part of the look and feel that we want to create for telling the story about businesses in the area is that this is a good place. This is a great place to, to locate and you know there's a lot of potential to articulate that to an audience right. and who knows where to stop like you know okay. mm -hmm. I, I really like to get involved with some games so I know how, so I know how to program it but I'm not like programming it on my own like there are other people who have have some experience that mm -hmm. are like guiding me through it and then I could I, I'm hoping to have that experience by the time I graduate college so that I can start my own Okay. Business. Yeah. Robotics has helped me to think in a different way and how we can accomplish a task based on what we're given. Well, I think it helps both the business community and the, the community of the high school, whereas it shows students in the high school this is what the real, real world is like, and that for some students this might be a wake up call. Where is it more expensive? Living here or Boston or New York? So the key to doing this project would be to get students more invested in their education here and make more of a connection to what they're learning in the classroom and what that, how that's going to help them in their futures and in their careers. As I said, I'm working as a bench specialist at a CMB Technology Group. And what would you so, do in that position? Right now, the computer comes in for a, one of our clients. We order, they order a new computer through us. It comes in. We do the initial setup, so usually I'm doing that because that's pretty basic. Then it goes out the door with one of our other techs to the actual location where they install it. So this project encompasses a number of overlapping objectives. Um, LCAT's role as a community access center is to provide students the opportunity to apply real world skills and build productive relationships, encourage commitment, um, and creativity and innovation and emphasize the importance of the local community in as the context in which you know they can learn the effective and ethical use of these new media and information tools. <laughs>